Lake Champlain. It's not just a lake. It's a living, liquid legend. Nestled between New York and Vermont, Lake Champlain is the eighth-largest naturally occurring body of fresh water in the continental United States. The lake was named after Samuel de Champlain, who discovered it in 1609. Of course, the Abenaki people have been calling it Pitunboke, or waters that lie between, for ages. Lake Champlain is home to over 90 species of fish. You name it, Champlain's got it. So if fishing is your idea of fun, you'll not find a better destination than this. And if fishing isn't your thing, don't worry. You can swim, boat, or just sit on the shore and contemplate the meaning of life. But the real star of Lake Champlain? That would be Champ, the lake's very own monster. Welcome back, my fishy friends. Today we're going under the waters of Lake Champlain, in search of a legendary beast. Climb aboard the SS Ollie, and let's begin our journey into the dark depths of American folklore. For centuries, tales of Champ have been making waves. The indigenous Abenaki and Iroquois tribes were the original storytellers, warning early French explorers about a giant serpent in the lake. And then came Samuel de Champlain, the lake's namesake, who is often mistakenly credited with the first European sighting of Champ. Over the years, there have been more than 300 reported sightings of Champ. One of the earliest was in 1819, when Captain Crum claimed to see a black monster in Bullwagga Bay. He described it as 187 feet long with eyes like peeled onions and a belt of red around its neck. In more modern times, Champ sightings are still going strong. In 1977, Sandra Monsi took one of the most famous photos of Champ. But was it Champ? Let's have a listen to her tell her story. To tell you about this one day, July of 1977, we were up exploring the lake with my husband, Anthony, and my two children. We were on a dirt road and we stopped and we walked across the field. Now there's nothing in sight. There's, there's no housing, it's not, a, it's a very rural place. And I went down the bank in and I'm sitting on this great rock down there watching the children and just enjoying the day. It got kind of strange out there. It was like turbulence in the water. And then something broke the surface of the water and even then I'm thinking, wow, that is a fish. I got it when it had just turned over its back. And I put the camera down and I'm watching it. It went down like this, went down, and then disappeared. So we sent it out to the photo mat. That's how unassuming it was. And when we got it back, we looked at the photograph and it was, oh my God, what did we see? We finally decided that we needed to have this authenticated before we make it public. And it went to the optical college and, and they proved that this photograph was genuine, never, never doctored, never, it is what it is. It is absolutely authentic. Scientists have their own theories about Champ. Some say it's just a case of mistaken identity, big sturgeons or garfish that look monstrous in the right light. Either way, the mystery keeps us guessing. So, whether you believe in Champ or think it's all a fishy tale, one thing's for sure. Lake Champlain's monster legend adds a splash of fun and mystery to this beautiful region. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more murky monstrous videos just like this. You folks are awesome. Until next time, keep your eyes on the water and your camera ready. Happy monster hunting.